Hello Sagittarius, I will be doing a super moon general reading for you today from your spirit allies, pre-shuffled cards, you have Labradorite, Tiger's Eye, and Kratom. I'm pretty sure Libra and maybe Taurus got Tiger's Eye, could have been Aries, a couple signs got Tiger's Eye though. I mean, you have a lot of cards here that are, like, grounding colors here. So, your pre-shuffle went pretty smoothly. No complaints here. Alright, let's get a couple more shuffles. be a lot of grounding work done in the ethers or whatever. Alright. Let's see, bottom of the deck, you have the Ten of Cups in reverse. Yeah, and that's it. So, Ten of Cups in reverse. Could be going through a little bit more of a difficult time. General reading for Sagittarius. General info you would like to give Sagittarius. Thank you. You have the King of Cups, the Empress, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Knight of Wands. Kind of tricky underlying you might be having problems maybe problems in paradise maybe someone is wanting to play too much and someone over here is wanting to grow you have the empress she is the all of the queens in one and then you have this king of cups here could be a water sign Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer, for me, would be uh, Scorpio. So you could be dealing with those signs, or they could be in your chart, they could be in your person's chart, in your company or team's chart, because I see this, this trophy here that he is carrying. And then this Empress here, your Empress energies are going to be Libra and Taurus. And then with the Seven of Pentacles and this Knight of Wands, I'm really feeling this Seven of Pentacles being Virgo energy and this Knight of Wands, I, I feel is your energy. So... Maybe you are striving towards something that either you or somebody in this team that you have has been maybe playing too much. Someone is over here growing and being abundant and then you have somebody over here that's just, I feel like, fooling around, almost. Let's see, furthermore, with the Witches Mini Tarot, clarify the Empress for Sagittarius, please. Clarify the Empress for Sagittarius. I hate when they do this. Then I have to pull them out. Okay. And then that. Okay. I think I saw. Before I say it. Yep. The full. 
what did I just say? Like fooling around. You feel like this other person has too many options that they're fooling around and it's almost breaking your heart. Aww. You feel like you've done a lot to create this abundance of emotion and just the time that you have spent creating this bond here because you see she's the queen of cups and then you have this king of cups and that's what I'm saying is you have the energies here it's just they're not working together because somebody is fooling around and this eight of swords in reverse just leaves you as I, this has been in a few of the readings today this eight of swords blinded binded and surrounded by swords but here you are surrounded by options maybe if somebody wasn't fooling around we'll see The Seven of Pentacles. Is there a card? No. Okay. Sorry, I thought there was a card overturned. The Seven of Pentacles for Sagittarius, please. The Seven of Pentacles for Sagittarius, please. Come on. The Seven of Wands. Okay, that was it. You have on top of your seven of pentacles, you have the seven of wands, the two of swords, the queen of swords. Come on. Seven of wands, two of swords, queen of swords, knight of swords. Ten of Wands and Eight of Cups. You are walking away from somewhere that you have been trying to stay open to receiving and you don't feel like you're receiving what you deserve. And it has you walking away from something you've worked really hard on. You feel like it's not fulfilling. It's not providing what you need and want. And it's like, I'm going to stand up for what I want and what I deserve and what I need. I will wait for what I deserve, what I want, and what I need. What is this King of Cups for Sagittarius, please? What is this King of Cups for Sagittarius, please? King of Cups for Sagittarius, please. of cups for Sagittarius, please. We have the Knight of Wands and the Nine of Swords in reverse. What is this King of Cups for Sagittarius, please? this a part of it? No, I think that was from the last card. Okay. So, I don't think this was from anything on here. I'm pretty sure this, this is from this King of Cups. 
So you have the Knight of Wands, the Nine of Swords in reverse, the Eight of Wands, the Knight, or the King of Swords, excuse me, and the Knight of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. So the only Knight you have that's not here is the Knight of Pentacles and that's okay because he takes his time. He, he, he'll, he'll be, he'll be coming around the corner when he comes. Uh, you have this physical opportunity here coming in though. Okay. Could be again with a air sign here. You have Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini, but I'm strongly feeling Aquarius for this one. I don't know. I'm feeling because I know these these look like blue gems, but they almost look purplish, like a amethyst. And I know that's Aquarius's stone, their birthstone. You have all of the night energy, all of the movement, and you have this fast movement coming in this offer that's coming in quickly and I think it is this king of cups realizing you have this king of swords ready to jump up and probably provide what you are looking for what is this in, that was a lot and fast what is this knight of wands for Sagittarius please what is this Knight of Wands for Sagittarius? Come on. Okay. Let's see. All right. So for this Knight of Wands, you have the Five of Cups, the Moon in Reverse, the Chariot, the Shadow Side, the World, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Hanged Man. So you could really be moving past this Knight of Wands, I'm feeling you. You're, you're done dealing with deeds in the dark. That's what I'm hearing. You're done dealing with deeds in the dark. You're done dealing with these energies that are only going to make you feel low. These energies that you are trying to move away from quickly. And that's something that you are closing out here. You see that you have the ability to create all of this on your own. You don't need someone here to work with you. You have spirit here to work with you. You have your guides here to work with you. And you could possibly have this person working with you as well. You have fixed signs here as well. You have Aquarius, Leo, Horus and Scorpio and those either of those signs or any of those could be incorporated in your chart in your person's chart in your company that you have been working for you are working towards creating your happiness as long as you continue to look in a different way than all of this dark side energy that you are being faced with. If you can see past it and you can see it on the other side, see it on the flip side of the coin. I don't know if you can hear that, it's a hummingbird. And you're just really being guided towards 
being diligent in your endeavors and really, again, that fooling around. You, you want to stop fooling around and you have these people around you that are going to continue to fool around until you decide to walk away from them. That's, and then, you know, as soon as you get away from them, then that's when you will be rewarded, is what I'm hearing. That's when this opportunity, this physical opportunity comes in quickly. So, let's see what your spirit allies have to say. You have Labradorite, which is number 17. am open to greater periods of transformation. With shades of blue, green, and gold, Labradorite is a distinctive crystal that holds a strong connection to a to channeling your higher self. Excuse me. Caught in just the right light. The crystal's iridescence shine, shines like no other, and that's this crystal right here. Labradorite. I don't know if you can see, there's, well now you can see it, kind of. There's a iridescence right here, and you can only see it in certain light. Labradorite is a stone of awakening. It is a call to your higher purpose. You can no longer put off your destiny in this lifetime. A stone of the new moon, Labradorite symbolizes a period of new beginnings to come. Use this time to set intentions for where you'd like to see yourself and plan for the journey ahead. Call on your guides if you feel like you have questions unanswered. So you can make a decision with all of your awareness or all of the awareness you need. Now is not the time to rush. It is time to recognize the transformation to come and to prepare yourself to welcome it with open arms. Labradorite journal prompt says, how can I prepare myself for change? That's something that they're really, they want you to be open to the transformation. And you have to be willing to prepare yourself for that change. You have to be willing to make those changes in order to accomplish your desired goal. Tiger's Eye, number 24. I connect with my roots so that I may heal. With reflective stripes that glimmer in the sun, this golden brown stone is a bridge to connect you with the earth. Tiger's Eye can help to promote clarity, dispel anxiety, and bring you good luck. Connecting with the root chakra Tiger's eyes, the tiger's eye is a stone that encourages grounding and connecting with your roots, both ancestrally and out in nature. Whether you are directly familiar with your ancestors or not, you can connect with them in meditation and the dream world. You are born within this lifetime to heal and connect with a lot of uh, Sorry, you're born within this lifetime to connect with your highest self. But in order to do that, there can be a lot of deep work to do on healing root 
causes and issues around ancestral wounds in your lineage. So again, I will read that again. Whether you are directly familiar with your ancestors or not, you can connect with them in meditation and the dream world. You were born within this lifetime to heal and connect with your highest self. But in order to do that, there can be a lot of deep work to do on healing the root causes and issues around ancestral wounds in your lineage. Allow nature to be your companion on this journey and take some time to connect with the trees, flowers, and the dirt beneath your feet. Welcome the life force of the planet that's always available to support you. Journal prompt for Tiger's Eye says, what can I learn about myself by looking at the patterns of my lineage. So they're really wanting you to get grounded. I, I really feel they want you to get to your roots and that's touching your familiar, familial, familial <laughs> roots. You have number 31, Kratom. I surrender all burdens. Found in areas of Southeast Asia, the kratom plant can be found towering ahead. Usage of its dark leaves can be traced back to ancient times as a remedy to alleviate pain in the bad in pain in the body, excuse me. Take a moment to ask yourself what you are trying to avoid or ignore that you are that you know in your heart is a problem take a moment to ask yourself what you are trying to avoid or ignore that you know in your heart is the problem with kratom comes the acknowledgement and awareness of what we are trying to set aside as its energy provides the lift off of suffering. In turn, it brings you clarity to see the root of your challenge. As uncomfortable as it may be, it's always to your benefit to do whatever is necessary to conquer your shadows and the blockages hidden within. Let your tensions rise up to be nurtured and healed. Your journal prompt says, what am I holding on to that holds me back? So maybe that's something there is looking what, what you are holding on to, what you know is not good for you, what you know that you need to get rid of. And what you know you need to not do, not have in your life. And maybe that is something that you, your family has dealt with over centuries. This is, they're asking you to look at, into your ancestor lineage. And that's something that they're telling you. They want you to focus on what are these things that you know you shouldn't do, that you are continuing to do and continuing to have in your life that your family wants you to get rid of on the other end, on the other side, the upside down, below. I really feel like that's what they're wanting you to do is also talk with them. How can I do this? How can I release this? I hope you have a beautiful super moon, Sagittarius. Until next time, take care.